Zika, how confident are you that researchers will find either a cure or a vaccine fairly soon? And how much of a problem is this? How concerned should we be of the spread of the virus? This is unprecedented. To have a virus that is transmitted by mosquitoes and causes birth defects has never happened before. Uh, this is indeed a very serious circumstance and we need to do everything possible to stop the spread. Acutely, that means vector control, trying to be sure the mosquitoes that can carry this are diminished in numbers uh, gr greatly so that we don't have transmission in the United States along the Gulf Coast. But we are working intensively on a vaccine. There are four vaccines that are being pushed simultaneously because we don't know which one's going to work. By next fall, there will be phase one trials to see whether those are safe and whether they generate an immune response. But this is going to take time. You really want to find out whether the vaccine works. We'll have to do a large trial with people who are exposed to the virus. And I don't know where that will be by the time we can do that early next year. And then if it turns out that it's effective, then we will be ready to distribute. But nobody should imagine that the vaccine solution can happen before about early 2018. President Obama has suggested that he wants to get rid of the appropriations process every year for the NIH. Is that happening? Well, there is this discussion about whether there might be another pathway for funds for NIH besides the traditional discretionary one. What about mandatory funding? That's an active discussion right now. I can tell you the president is very much in favor of increasing support for medical research. So is the Congress. This is something everybody agrees on. There is no disagreement in either party or either house that something needs to be done. But where to find the money at a time where we're all worried about the deficit and how do we set priorities is a challenge. I would say that if you want to look at what the government puts money in, this is an investment. This isn't spending. This is an investment. The economic returns on medical research spending that the government puts forward are remarkable. And you could say much of the economic growth of this country has been based upon that kind of scientific research. This would be a really bad time to take our foot off the accelerator. If you're a scientist out there trying to get your research supported, whether it's cancer or diabetes or Alzheimer's, your chance of actually being able to get your NIH grant paid for is less than 20%. And that's very unhealthy. Over most of our history, it's been more like 30%. So we're throwing away a lot of great science. We have talent out there that we're not using, and we have investments that we could be making that would have economic return, and we're not doing it.